Hey everyone, it's Jaden here. Let's ride Teapot. It's a blue square trail that connects a lot of trails in the network. I'm sitting at the bottom of Lower Thirsty Beaver. Just below that is the new connector to the climbing trail called Midway. Straight in front of me is 42nd Street and more to my right is the beginning of Teapot. I'm gonna name off a few different trails as we go down. Teapot starts through the clear cut here. It's just a short section of clear cut riding and then you enter into the trees. So to my right is the bottom of Truffle Shuffle. That's a popular line that starts basically at the same point as the top of uh, Vanilla. You can access the Truffle Shuffle Climb, or sorry, you can access Truffle, tru truffle Shuffle through the traditional Truffle Shuffle Climb or you can take the slightly more mellow, newer climbing trail um, that accesses the top of Vanilla. They'll both get you there. Truffle Shuffle is a black diamond. It's uh, definitely a trail I'd recommend. So to my left is a black diamond trail called Slick Rock. Slick Rock will take you down and connect you to that damn trail. We're gonna get to the entrance of that damn trail a little further down Teapot. Teapot's a pretty standard sort of blue square trail. Uh, intermediate riders are probably Gonna enjoy it. It's been around for a long time. It, uh, Teapot and a lot of trails in Cumberland have been around for as long as they have because of all of the hard work that the volunteers from Cumberland put into these trails and from the U Rock Trail crews. If you want to give back to the trail building community, a good way to do that is to become a UROC member. The money from your UROC membership goes directly to trail building and maintenance. So coming up on the left hand side here is a trail called Steam Donkey. Steam Donkey heads across from Teapot to 42nd Street. Coming up is a little rock ride here. I recommend staying high, staying to the left hand side. That's probably the smoothest route through that section of trail. On my left hand side is the beginning of that damn trail. That damn trail will get you back to Cumberland a little bit quicker from this point. If you're in a hurry to get back and have a burrito and a beer, 
that's a shorter line. If you're looking for the Marcina route, stay right and follow Teapot down to Allen Lake Reservoir. If you take a look at this on Trail Forks, uh, you'll see that there's a few different ways out of here. But the most popular way out of here is probably to ride around the reservoir to either Trussell or a railroad. That's going to hook you up with trails like Crafty Butcher, Swamp Monster. You can kind of beeline down to Scott and Brat, and that'll also get you back towards Cumberland. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video.